you tell me then? <laughs> would, you, would you go and be embarrassing me? <laughs> I know. Right. It's still my head. Do I go home for the party? Huh? We'd have to go to the far side. What? Man over the far side. What about the, the other fella? It kills me. Dominic. Huh? What about the men from Limerick? <laughs> Very good. I look forward to meeting the President. Yeah. You used to come here often? Uh, oh, I'm from North Galway, so I'd be here very often. Yeah. And I always pass it through from Portumna going to Chew, where it's my home place, my native place. Yeah. So I, I know Athenry very well. Even as a young fellow, I used to come to the markets here in Athenry. Very good. So I've always had a soft spot for Athenry. Very good. Uh, thank you. Dominique, where's your accordion? I don't want any close up. Where's your accordion? You should have your accordion. The accordion is at home where it should be. Is that a lovely girl to take a photograph? This is a new tune. Horse Nua. This day never come again. There you are, Dominique. Did you hear that? This day never come again. I don't want any close up. There's too many lines to be seen. There's too many lines to be seen. Why have, have you not that much clothes on you? <laughs> Run away from me. <laughs> well, there, well, don't, don't, don't mind me. Well, don't for the car, please. Yes. Uh, He's a pen. Oh, you live? Oh, yeah. Oh, 
push up. Come on, straighten your shoulders there. That's it. Look good. <laughs> very well. Thank you very much. I like your flower. <laughs> I grew it specially. Good. How are you doing? How are you? Hello. I like Sure, I don't need to pop out anyway. Hey, she takes her own TV. Wave to Mama. Hi, Mommy. Hello. I don't know who is. Lottie. Hello, Mommy. Me too. Me too.
Bring us the wedding. There ain't no wedding. How's it going, Shelly? All right, Richard. How are you? Everything in order. to get jobs for all them kids. No problem. <laughs> we'll ex we'll ex Down they'll have to go to some of them and have to the park. They'll be exported, some, a lot of them will be. Are there all musicians or they'll all get jobs? The, some of them will have to go to Kirk Park. I think they will, yeah. That'll be next year again, though. I'm in your hands. How are you? You well? Hi, how are you? Very welcome. Very welcome. How are you doing? How are you doing? How are you doing?
will, I will return. <laughs> Would you like? Would you like to live in those towns? Well, going back to see what it was like, obviously. Just because it's a tourist. Church together, oh, elegantly situated in the ruins of um, a 13th century collegiate church, was just, it was chosen as the most appropriate place to house Athen Rye's heritage. The building is made available through the generosity of the church body, and the restoration and exhibition were funded by Fulcher Ireland, by Galway County Council, and by the local community. We've now been open for five years and we've concentrated on presenting and interpreting the medieval heritage of Athen Rye in a very accessible way using fun and interactive methods such as puppetry, medieval sports and games. We also run arts exhibitions, craft fairs, book launches, children's parties and have worked with Erin Road Erin on the Summer Train and the Santa Train initiatives 
Last year, 14,000 people passed through these doors, and I'd like to compliment Deirdre Moran, our manager, and her wonderful team for all their hard work and dedication. We're indebted to our partners, Galway County Council, to FOSS for their continuous support over the years, to Galway Rural Development, Erin Road Erin, Galway East Tourism, Athenry Community Council, our local schools, and the whole of the local community who have been so supportive of our efforts. President, your visit to us today it has underlined um, your interest in the ideal of community arts and heritage being used to promote a uh, sense of identity amongst the community. And it's imperative that this sense of identity is continued down to our children and our children's children. Um, in these rapidly changing times, um, it's, very, it's, it's, equally, it's even more important than it was. May I, on behalf of my fellow directors, thank you very much for your visit today and for your support for our efforts. And uh, just to finish, I'd like to present you with a small gift in memory of, of your visit to Athen Rye. And the gift consists of two books. The first is a book by Porrick Fallon. It's about Porrick Fallon and it includes his poems as well. And he was actually born in, in 1905 and we're going to celebrate his centenary next year with um, uh, the Arts and uh, Poetry Festival. I'm looking for funding already. <laughs> <laughs> the second book is Irish County Towns, which contains a chapter by Professor Etienne Rin. And um, he's up on here. And uh, I'd like to call now on Simon Brody, uh, no relation, of course, to present our, <laughs> to present our gift to the president. Oh, It's just a joy to be here and to see to see a community doing what living what community means. It means drawing people together, giving people a sense that not just, out, not just inside the four walls of your own home, but inside the walls of your time. And I can say that's the case of Athenry because it is one of Ireland's great glory walled towns. Inside the walls of your time, there's a sense of family and a sense of community. That this is a place not just where strangers live beside one another with no connectedness, but here's a place where people go out and make the effort to create the connections to one another, to put fun at the heart of life, to put a great spirit at the heart of life, but also in doing that, to draw not just together the people of the present, but to draw them back to the people of the past. Those who shared this land with them going back for hundreds and hundreds of years. There, there aren't and Ireland has a wonderful story to tell, many, many great stories of history. But Athenry has a really very, very, very special story to tell in a medieval walled town. I mean, there are, there are not many, and indeed there are very few towns who have managed, many, even, even those that were privileged to be walled towns, to have, to have the structure still as intact as your structure is is a wonderful thing. I know many of us would love to visit the past as tourists. I would, I would not, I'd like to be kind of, I wouldn't want to be too close to the stocks and I wouldn't be, want to be too close to the head stuck up on the, on the stakes. Um, I wouldn't want to be in danger of it happening to myself, for example, but still, it is, it's, a, it's a lovely gift to be able to travel back to the past as a tourist, as a witness, would you give people the opportunity to do here, to, to walk back into that past, to get the flavour of it, the feel of it, and not just to see it, but to actually dress up in it, and to do the things that were done all those, all those many generations ago, and to get the feel, the feel in one way of what we've come from as a people, what it was that shaped us, what forces of history, what forces of destiny, what things shaped us, made us the kind of people we are. And also, too, I think, the great encouragement this gives to young people to realise that every, every generation, you know, is called to make its own mark on history, to make its own statement, to leave the evidence of its own existence. And so here, in the way in which you so sacredly 
preserve and showcase the memory of those who've gone be before, you're also telling the people in the present, and your lives are important to use them well. And all the people who have made such an effort to create this place have surely used their time well. I know Martin and I can say, with a I think with hand on heart, there are probably very few people on this island who know to the extent that we're privileged to know the enormous amount of community work that has done the length and breadth of this country, the kind of glue that it is holding together lives and towns and cities and rural Ireland and, and the cities of Ireland, pulling them together street by street, family by family, parish by parish, fusing them into a sense of one big Irish family. But that takes work. I mean, you know better than anybody the amount of voluntary effort that has gone into create this. It was a great idea. Somebody obviously conceived the idea. And loads of people have good ideas. But to get from having an idea and then working through what would it need to make the idea happen, how much work would it take to create it, and how much ongoing work will it take to sustain it, that takes very brave people indeed. People of tremendous commitment. We heard the litany, the litany of of the jigsaw puzzle that it takes to keep this to, to get to get the place together and to keep it up and running. All the people and all the organisations, institutions, voluntary and state that are and all the community that it takes to keep this place going. And aren't I know I'm very, very grateful to live in a country where people put that effort in, where they see the worth of it and they don't run away from the size of it or the scale of it. They don't walk away and say it's a great idea but I leave it to someone else. They actually just knuckle down and do it. And there are, you know better than anybody else, the tough struggle it is, not just to start, but to keep going, even, even to organize a day like this. A day like this when a visitor comes and you want to showcase the place at its absolute best. All the work that went into this today, the cleaning, the scrubbing, the polishing, the rehearsing, the organization, and to all of those people who did that work for today, I say a very big thank you who organised things so beautifully, organised the children so brilliantly, and organised the place to look so well. I want to say a very, very, very big thank you. Because in back of even today, there is a huge amount of effort. So on behalf of Martin and I, can I thank you and encourage you. It's one of the things that I think Ireland can be most proud of. We, as we were talking going around, you told me that um, uh, a fair bit of money had come from, um, from America and from local people. Uh, people of this climate who were living there. And isn't that too one of the great uh, stories of the Irish, that no matter where they went in the world, they never forgot home, they kept the links with home, they were interested in what was going on, and they felt such a deep sense of commitment that their dollars and their cents, hard earned as they are, came back to help us flourish and still do, which is a wonderful thing. And it's a great vindication of their lives too, that we continue to work together in the way that you work here, pulling together all those fragments that it takes to create this lovely gift. It's a gift at the heart of community, for community, but also too for the visitor. And I wish it well and celebrate with you uh, the joy that you have in doing it and hope that you'll have many, many days of energy for the journey ahead because there's no day when you say you have it done. There's always, always the struggle, isn't there? To keep it going, to keep the interest, to keep it renewed, to keep it fresh. Good to see FOSS at the heart of it, of course, because so many good ideas, the length and breadth of our country couldn't happen without FOSS. They are the people who stitch it all together. And uh, to them, we're very, very, very grateful for the way in which good ideas <coughs> can gel because they are there and because of the enormous effort, the huge partnership that pulls together to make a good idea real. And that's what you've done here. So it's lovely. And thank you for the lovely welcome that you've given Martin and I. Uh, it's a joy to have been here and to have a chance to get the flavour. I have to tell you, even in the, uh, every time I come past this way, I have to say that the amount of building going on, the evidence of a vibrant community really, really soaring with self-confidence is extraordinary. It's absolutely extraordinary. And you can see what it's built on, you know, with your history. It doesn't, it shouldn't shock anybody that this place is so full of confidence. When you look at the stories, the remarkable, colourful history it's had, and the way in which that history now reveals itself here, to be brought into the present day as an inspiration and as a continued reminder of a proud history that the young people of tomorrow's Athenry, please God, will add their story to adding more pride 
and more community, more deep, deep, deep rooted community to the story in this lovely place. So, got a meal, meal, and give and thank you for the lovely gifts. I was holding fear character of Tomich Galeer on WFG. To so long in Gurbantu shot the sauce of us on the spontus. Katagin and Shah, I guess Gadigi to Askawil and Shanbala, Miani Sakatagin, Aunt Havok Tucker and Fad, I guess Gwil, I guess Gwilwich Ida on Rodun or Ghana. Quedjum Fain, Grabaya Henry and Baya Miani Suk is far in Ermni. Erangay Durella, a Hyokan Shah, Tosulagin, my niece Moan, Agat Honest. To my Shan Sagas, the Shan Kora Orsa, for an Shan Monaster, and Shan Kashlan, and Shan Krish, is the Shan Fadi more himple and body at all, Thane, the Tall Nis Widja, the Nis Bar, no Nino Cherinir, and Shin Mara Germich. However, to sum up, Madam President, we all thank you most sincerely for honouring us with your visit to Athenry today, and we also hope maybe your brief tour around this heritage centre might encourage you to return sometime soon to see the wonderful collection of ancient monuments in and around Athenry. By Fatu Kali Goni Roth Uthron, Agasanish, Jeremy Jilla, Ganyari and Bohar Awanyala. Are we going, Richard? You brought up a great show. Didn't I do a great job on no. it? Huh? I don't great, like yeah. I don't like these close-ups. Do you know huh? what I mean? I don't like these close-ups because those false teeth and the, the receding hairline and the lines. Not to worry, not to worry. Yeah. Huh? I don't think we're talking about you. Well, if, you, if, you had the, if you had a card in there, Richard. Huh? Don't mind the card. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell her at all. Pardon? You should have told her that you played the card. I want my photograph taken. <laughs> <laughs>
vagina. Vagina.